This is the defunct Nazareth Speedway, the mile track which was built uh, right after the half mile, which was at the fairground just below us. Uh, that, when that became defunct, uh, a developer from Reading uh, came up here and of course uh, he built this mile and it was a, technically a mile in the name. And it started out as a dirt track, which was uh, extremely popular at the time. And um, then of course it turned in, you know, when Roger Penske uh, uh, just uh, became the owner, uh, he uh, decided to really revamp this and pave it and uh, just to realign the walls and all that. Uh, but um, uh, what's really, for me, uh, when I look back, uh, at the memory that I have here is then uh, in 69, after I won Indianapolis, uh, the, uh, the first race, well, one of, well, it was a couple of races after Indy, but uh, uh, the first time that we came back to our town here, uh, they had this championship race here. It was a night race. Uh, it was the first time actually that I think that the champ, the dirt cars ran at night. And, um, and, and my wife was, uh, was pregnant with my daughter Barbie, and, but she wasn't due for two weeks. But uh, all of these developments, uh, the parade and then the race and everything happening, uh, uh, the, the <laughs> it, I think it, uh, it, brought, it brought about, uh, you know, the birth of Barbie right after the race, and I won the race here. You know, so um, the beautiful thing is I won here, I won on a half miles, and my son Michael won a couple times, you know, after it was repaved. So we have such uh, fond, fond memories of this place. Hey, everyone. Today I'm here with, uh, of course, Dark Exploration. We're uh, filming a NASCAR track. This is like the first time we've ever filmed something like this. So I'm pretty excited. Let's see what it has in store. So this looks like where all the cars would go right into the track. It's got a red, green light. Green means go, red means don't go. Looks like they would probably all line up out here. They'd have their trailers. And then they'd go into there to race. What do you think this building was? At first, I want to say a ticket counter, just because how the windows are set up. I can imagine you paying for something, but at the same time, it looks too weird. I'm not sure. Yeah, it would be weird being right next to where the cars go in. Let's go into the racetrack. That is so overgrown. Pennsylvania. There's a gem of racing history tucked away in Pennsylvania's Lehigh Valley. Names like Petty, Unser, Andretti, Earnhardt. They've all experienced this unique one mile track. And today, it hosts the stars of the Bush Series for the final time. So we're heading up to, I guess it would be the entrance to the track, because this is like where the cars go in. Should be pretty cool over this hill. Okay, so this is the Enfield Care Center. So this is probably where they would treat people that get in wrecks. Actually, I think I see a helipad. Yep. So they would land the helicopters here too.
shit. Yeah, you good? Dude, inside that place, I, I must have went to a beehive. Great. I saw there was a, um, in, inside the wall, there was a bird nest, egg still in there. And next thing I know, I saw a bunch of bees fly up at me. <laughs> you come running like crazy. So Devin said he got attacked by bees in here. Uh, it sucks in there anyways. Probably won't go in. Oh, he's going in. This place is pretty destroyed. Some really, I don't know if there was deaths that happened on this racetrack, but if anybody died, they died in this room. Well, I mean, they had the helicopter too. Yeah, but that was, if it was that bad, they didn't make it there. You still have all the gowns on the ground. So I found some paperwork. Let's take it outside and read it. Okay, so this is like a motorsports waiver. Looks like the cars would line up right here. Check it for. So it looks like I'm gonna have to break out the light. So I'll be right back. Okay, now we got a light. I'm really digging the checkered floor. This is. You good? So I think I found a dead body. I'm not too sure. And I'm pretty sussed out about it. So we're gonna go find out for sure. It's over here. Oof. I don't know. Oh my 
god. Oh my god, dude, I have the fucking chills right now. Holy shit, bro, it really does look like a body. Oh my god, I want people to see my chills right now. I mean, I don't want to check. I don't dude, even want to know. My hair is sticking up so much right now. <laughs> I don't want to know. Uh, so when we leave, we'll just call the police and then tell them to come here and check it out. Really? Yeah. Because I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it either. But I, that's really, I'm really like, actually, my heart's pounding right now. Mine too. <laughs> that's, I don't know. It's like in a perfect shape. It does. It really looks like someone's kneecap bent and wrapped up in something. It doesn't smell in that room. It just smells like mold, but that's kind of really uneasy, like unsettling. Yeah. I don't know. We'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, so we don't really know what's actually in there. I still have the chills, and we don't want to call the police if this is a hoax. You know, they'll still look at us and think we're stupid and may even charge for the trespass and tickets, even though we're not meaning any harm. So I'm just going to simply poke what we see, and if it has, it's, you know, I'm not going to be disrespectful or nothing, but I really don't know what the hell this thing is. Um, you want to take a light out? I don't have a light. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah. I'm shaking right now. It's like some Dan Bell stuff right here. It really is. I don't like it. Oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. I don't like it either. It could be just a tarp wrapped up, but why is it bent like that? I'm so nervous. I'm gonna poke it. It's gonna like get up. Dude, it's moving weird. Am I wrong? I don't know. Am I wrong to say that that was... It's like, dude, it's like stiff. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> dude, my back... Everything on my body right now, the chills are just popping. Okay, so we're coming up on the, uh... The winner's circle. Or, winner's square. This is cool. This is really cool. You could play real life checkers or chess with this. Are you the king? What is that? I don't know. Oh, it probably raises like a banner or something. Now we're officially walking onto the racetrack. Finally. Devin's going that way. Guess I'll go that way too. So this used to be the grandstands. They got rid of it. It would have been towering up. So this is pretty cool. Actual from when it was open. So when this place closed, they actually came in here and dropped dirt on the track so nobody could race on it. I don't know if it worked, but... Look at this. What? Oh, wow. Old speaker. Yeah. It's called the Atlas Sound. That's pretty cool. So that's what you would hear all the announcements on. Oh, yeah. 
This is an iconic section right here. We get the finish line. We got the logo. Mario and Dreddy past this line to win a race. All kinds of different racers. NASCAR. Right now I'm currently winding turn one. I'm gonna walk this whole racetrack, make sure I don't miss anything. And I just wanna see all of this iconic racetrack. And the crazy thing is, I'm standing where cars would race through here, like Mario and Dreddy, Dale Earnhardt, Senior and Junior, Mark Martin, all those guys, all have been racing here. This place is historic. So I think that said Nazareth, USA. Yeah, definitely Nazareth, USA. Look at they did it twice. They would have to paint these all the time because the cars would swipe against this and they would have to repaint it every time, pretty much every race. Pretty crazy how you just have a tree growing in the middle of a racetrack. STP oil. So we have the red and white warning tiles on the bottom of the turn. Shows drivers, don't pass that or you're gonna crash, pretty much. Pretty cool. Well, if you can make it out, that's what used to be like a lookout for on the turns. It's pretty overgrown now. So we're almost done with our complete lap around. It's all a lot of cool things on the track. So just a crazy experience to walk on the track with so much history. What do you think, Devin? Crazy. It's kind of it's awesome to see everything overgrown. It's like this place is taking a new uh, just a new look. Yeah, I mean it's literally getting taken back by nature. Nature. It's awesome to see it. So now we're walking on the grandstands, or what used to be the grandstands coming up on the concessions. So they scrapped everything when it was officially closed. They have no plans of reopening it as an actual racetrack. I don't think the town wants it anymore. But they do want to redevelop, redevelop this area, which kind of sucks because this place has a lot of history. But it's going to be housing eventually. But there really hasn't been any movement on it. So we'll see what happens. The concession stand has been totally gutted. Concession stands and souvenirs and collectibles. Too bad there's no collectibles left. Unless you guys want a big bed. So you'd have all the little collectibles in here. And they took Discover, Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. All four major carriers. So Devin said the bathrooms are cool. That's a weird thing to say. Whoa. They are kind of cool. Look how tiny the stalls are. Just like how they go up. Do you imagine everybody just in here peeing together? This is like a big piss bucket. 
just love toilet paper. Oh look, employee entrance over here. So that's definitely where I'm going. Oh, Devin's already in here. This building's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Ticket counter is here, and it looks like we did most of the. Uh, gotta go through. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like they uh, just did a lot of the milling here. A lot of office stuff. Pretty destroyed. There's a chair on the wall there. I wonder if we can find some old NASCAR stuff. Wow. This place is a mess. FedEx tube. Oh look, this is cool. So we're coming up on where they would work on the cars. Probably, I don't know what they would really do. But yeah, it's like a maintenance shop. Wow. Effort equals results. Could be crazy if I found an old car here. Yeah. Pretty sketchy catwalk. Damn. We got in here. Oh, wow. I'm gonna get down. Okay, there's like some pictures in here. Well, it's not a NASCAR. We got a beeper. Wow, kids, I bet you haven't seen one of those in a while. So it looks like we found an old... Wow. This is cool. It's Mario and Ben. Yeah. Nadverse Speedway. 2000. So we found a uh, program. 2004, the last year is in operation. Live fast, Nazareth Speedway. All dusty. Wow. Cool to see this. Just all different events that happened throughout the year. Yeah. Guest services. Kids 12 and under free. There's the track.